important thing is this. Every stage of your life is different. Every season comes with a different uh, need. And you must be able to reorganize yourself for the time and the season. Now, there's certain things that are constant. People are a factor of your life all of the time. So you can't wing it with people because they know you, they can see you, and they can see through you. That's why you must understand that every human being you meet in your life is an opportunity, big or small, rich or poor. Because the guy you think is a poor man today, people are mobile. You don't know where he's going to turn up tomorrow. The man you think is a nobody today, what do you know? Even if he becomes a nobody, his child could become somebody. And that's still a network. So it's about people. It's just about you deciding to deliberately pay attention to being respectful to people and leaving a legacy with people, a legacy that allows you to knock on the door and walk through the door when you need to is important. The other thing is our entire life is on a stage. You have a full audience, invited and uninvited. And every member of that audience will form an opinion based on what you do, how you make people feel, what you say to them. And of that entire audience, you do not know who holds the key to a door that you need to walk through. Somebody is going to have to open a door or shut the door against you somewhere. And the decision to open or shut will be based on how you have dealt with them when you were on the stage. So a lot of young people don't pay attention to this. Don't get into all this, I belong to one social class. There's no class. That's just the truth. There's absolutely nothing called that for the simple reason that people are mobile. People flow in and out of what we call classes. And you might have met them when they were not in your so-called class. And somewhere down the line, they walk into it, and then they remember how you treated them. When people are down, they never forget how you make them feel. So you must pay, if you want to succeed, and you know when we talk about entrepreneurs, we're actually talking about the entrepreneur's mindset. Why is that important? Because whether you work in an organization or you build the organization, it makes a difference to your life and how you succeed in life if your mindset is that of an entrepreneur. Because working in an organization with the mindset of an entrepreneur will stand you out. It will make you be outstanding and it will make you excellent. Because you need to have a mindset that is solution-centered and value creative centered for you to succeed, whether you're a staff somewhere or you own the company. So it's more important that in our conversations about entrepreneurship, we're not just defining the person who has gone to create a business. We're talking about someone who has the mindset of creating solutions, solving problems, identifying opportunities, and taking it. And if you're a star staff in a company, it will be about the kind of value you create for them. So that's really important. The rest of it is, I like to say, be yourself. Why? It makes your life a lot easier. So if you wing it in a pretentious way, it's too tedious to be anybody else but yourself. If you don't like high heel shoes, don't wear them. Don't try and impress everybody else because that's the way to look the smartest as a girl. If you're comfortable in a flat shoe, if you're successful, people will talk to you if you walk barefooted. What is important? Do people see your sincerity? Do you communicate that? Are you creating value for them in any way? Can you be trusted and relied upon as a friend? Or the day they need you, will you be there for them? Ultimately, people want the truth. They can pretend along with you when you're pretending. But when they get into trouble, they're going to look for that person that they know they can trust. We have so many panels and talks like this, and fantastic turnout, but we don't necessarily see the increase in terms of new businesses being started or the economy significantly being moved ahead. And it's a double-edged question because there's that bit. So why, why would you think that is a challenge? 
And on the other hand, what uh, scares you and what inspires you about our generation? The greatest thing starts from mindset, how you think, and how you see. And as often as we continue to talk about the value systems, the mindset that supports uh, enterprise development, the more you challenge people who are sitting in different places, who are afraid to take the opportunities to, and they step out and they do something. You might not notice everyone on day one, but somewhere along the line, we're going to have the aggregate numbers that we need that makes the critical difference. And then you will know that it's worth it. There's a lot more infrastructure support that will make that value far more obvious. But, you know, I'm an optimist. I can never give up on Nigeria because I know that we will get there. It keeps, it's rough, it's tough, but we must keep pushing because that's how we get the roughness out of it eventually. Success for me is nothing. It just means being there, done that. Whatever I've done is old story. My rule is always whatever I've done is yesterday's story. What do I want to do today? So if someone is saying, oh, you've achieved so much, I always laugh. Yeah, because for me, I haven't achieved anything. Whatever I've done, that story, been there, done that, closed. Mm -hmm. I still have a life. So when I sit and I say to myself, you're 55, what if I live till 80? Am I going to live on the achievement of up to 55? By the time you're 60, they've forgotten you and everything you did. And if your life does not continue to be relevant because you're doing things, then it's nothing. Why am I alive? Because I don't want to live as a piece of decoration. I want to make my life relevant to the last minute. So, which is why success is timed. You've succeeded up till yesterday. What am I going to do today to be successful at? What am I pursuing now? How do I deploy myself and my talents for this time and this season exceptionally to achieve what is greatness in this time? Because, you know, used to be that story. That's why you cannot be complacent, like you said. You can't sit on the success of yesterday because, look, there are businesses that didn't exist 10 years ago in the world that in the last 10 years, they are richer than many nations pulled together. That shows you how times and seasons change. The CEOs of this world were the richest companies in the world some, about 10 years ago. Right now, CEOs out of, what's that thing they took them off? NASDAQ 50 or something, yeah, whatever. Because the manufacturing companies no matter how big they are now, they cannot compete with the service companies and the tech companies. It's just the structure of the businesses. What does that tell you? Time and seasons have changed. So what is important is that you are relevant in your time and in your season. It's also why you can't rest on, my father used to be with your father. Your father was okay for his time. Your father's house that looked like a palace, maybe a toilet in your generation. Because you have to be relevant for your generation. And I always pray that we raise our children not to think that we have anything or that they're hoping to get anything. So we need to think like that. If you're building, don't think, oh, now I've done something, let me go to sleep. Sleep where? You only sleep when you die. You must learn to pace yourself but understand that other people around you are also running a race. My caveat to that is, I don't run because of another. Yes, I know what competition is doing, and obviously if you're a smart business person, you're aware of competition. But never forget that it's your race. And run your race your own way, and the best way that it works for you. So that at the end of your days, you'll be satisfied that you've done. My biggest dream is to die empty, totally empty, with no talent, nothing that I have that I'm able to offer the world or anywhere, my country, my family, whatever, that I have not used. I've written my epitaph, and my family knows it. Here lies an empty vessel.
devoid of anything. So when you see me run, it's not for, I'm not competing with anybody. I'm running my personal race. Because true success for me is to have deployed all my talents proficiently. Thank you.